What's going on YouTube? We just got into Columbus in Ohio for the Arnold Expo. It is Thursday night and our flight just arrived, but we had a little plot twist. We signed up for our hotel Hampton, yeah, and it said like Dublin, Columbus. And on the website it said like 0.1 miles away, but it ends up that it was 6.4 miles away, which apparently there was some issue on the website, so we got a little a little messed up. I thought it said 18 miles when you looked at it on Google Maps. No, 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 it was only like 6 miles. Oh, okay. So it's like a 20 minute trip, so that's like a $30 Uber. So hopefully we can get that like fixed up, but we just got to our room. Not a bad room. It's your usual room. Give them a 180, show them the mirror. Here's the mirror. Got a good selfie and mirror. And then the bathroom. Oh, wow. Look at that lighting. Ooh. They have download lighting too. This is a cheat code. If you have download lighting and you got a mirror, so maybe we'll get some uh, fire selfies here. So I have to go to bed soon. It's about 11 o'clock because I have the Beyond Limits training session with Cliff uh, Wilson, Ryan Doris, and Katie Ann. So I'm really pumped for that. So me and Nicole are probably just going to get to bed. Actually, it's closer to midnight. So bedtime for now, and I'll show you how that day goes tomorrow. Good morning, it is now Friday morning, so it is a little after 6.30, just showered. Woke up at 6 because the camp doesn't start until 9, but they say get there like a half hour at least, or an hour early to warm up, so hopefully I want to get there by 8, and I can hang out for a little bit as well. So, about to go down, uh, get some breakfast, because apparently there's free breakfast here, hopefully it's good. We're going to head down there, and then I'm going to go to the camp, and then Nicole's probably gonna hit the expo and tell me what's good. Yeah, they got eggs, they got cereal. That's what I'm going for. The cereal? Yeah, I always do the kid cereal for pre-workout. Got some, ooh, some omelets. And waffles. All right, so what we got for breakfast is two boxes of Golden Grams, so only like 90 calories each, and Frosted Flakes, I don't know why, the box for the Frosted Flakes is so much bigger than the Golden Grams though. And I brought over a scoop of that, the protein that I brought in with this. Luckily, um, I have that. And hopefully by the end of today, we have a lot more samples uh, after running the expo. But that's it. And I also made that with the water that's over there. But it's infused with lime and lemon. So I guess this is like, so I guess this is like a chocolate lemon lime uh, pudding, which would be delicious. But this is what we're gonna have for breakfast and then probably heading over to go train. Oh, what'd you get? <laughs> got a banana, some oatmeal with, I guess, raisins, mm. and a little parfait. That thing's cute. It's so cute, look at it. Okay. And some vitamin C. And some robust coffee. Robust. All right, we made it to Beyond Limits training. I hear there's a really nice gym. Now we're gonna see what it looks like. Going. Hey, what's going on, my oh, man? Really good. Are you here for the seminar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just asked you to sign into our guest book real quick. All right, sounds good. Hi. Yeah, just sign in here. So we have a special guest during the seminar. This is Tyree, aka Pull My Beard. Um, one of my favorite personalities on Instagram. Can you like tell us how, I don't know how you can, but kind of explain what you post on Instagram? Uh, <laughs> I post half nudes of myself. And I, I am a sub. <laughs> I'm following it. <laughs> half nudes, I just take celebrity photos like Kim Kardashian, my favorite. <laughs> and I'll just uh, redo her pictures and make her poses better. Way better. So definitely give this man a follow. I love his Instagram, and he's gonna be at Donuts and Deadlifts this weekend. So I'll be stopping yes, by. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So nice meeting you, my man. All right. Boris is also a promoter of the Costco protein bars, and look at these gems. All right, so you have this one. I got that one. But I'm gonna straight up just gift that. Are you serious right now? Bro, I'm rolling in the in the Costco money. This man. 
But here's the thing is, right, it's cool. also the city can't hold it, like it's too small. I don't know if you can see it on from here. Hmm. There's a place called Florida Place. It's pretty good. So, so it's pretty damn good. Florida Place is public. Thanks, Ryan. It's kind of, it's pretty solid, pretty solid. It's solid, it's not like... I wouldn't say it's better than chocolate chip cookie dough though. That's the, that's the goat. I always have this bunch of chocolate brownies left over. Oh yeah! I lost 30 pounds. So, equivalently, you, you, have, you expect that. Which was your first pro show? It wasn't though. The Yorton. The Yorton was uh -huh. the first show. Yeah, last I, year. Yeah. In 2017. Alright, so that was awesome. Just had this seminar, we got to lift with everyone, and then we also got to, after that, listen to their seminars, and seminars, Ryan's and Katie's were more like mindset, which also is like, don't let what you do define you, also be like a person and stuff, and do other things that you find fulfillment in, which I thought was really cool, and Ryan did a lot of like, managing your self-happiness, and again, not defining that by your medals and stuff like that, so I thought that was really good self-preservation things or self-happiness fulfillment type uh, messages with mentality and then um and then cliff went into more of the bodybuilding preps and everything which i thought was really valuable as well they went to the bodybuilding time and everything as well also got to talk to him at the end he will likely be my coach next year when i do my bodybuilding show and we're both really excited for that so i'm so excited to get those striated glutes but now i'm walking over it's about a 15 minute walk over to the convention center I had to send an email because someone looked for a Starbucks, but I'm maybe in a sketchy area because there's a few windows missing from my building. So I'm gonna put this camera away for now. Just got to the expo, but before I actually go in there, I'm gonna go over to the A7 meet to meet up with Nicole and some RUPL friends. But then I'm gonna try to get some free stuff because I think that the expo is only open for another hour. It's already like four o'clock. I can already hear Gino's voice. So for that old position right now for her. I just got to the meet and I ran into these beautiful gentlemen, uh, Trevor and Berto. So now we gotta go find Nicole. Now and look what I found. So this is the one, the one booth that I really wanted to come to out of all the booths here that I definitely want to make a stop at. And Friday is a little less busy, so like we're gonna get some goods. So it's Dough Bar Donuts. And they got lots of shirts and stuff and some donuts. Hey. So spent $105 at Dohar Donuts. No shame, no shame. And Andrea, she was really, really awesome. I love this. I love this. This is great. I'm not sure. All right, we just stopped out in Lane too. And I finally got to meet Caroline, who also worked with us of uh, Team Enlightened. So I got my ice cream of the day because again, my cut that I just started is ice cream every single day. So make sure to hit it today. I'm gonna eat this up and I'm hungry too. Atlas Stone event, 560 pound Atlas Stone up to a barrel.
front of him. He's at the two position. So we just got back to the hotel room. It's about eight o'clock and me and Nicole are pretty toast. Just walking around the expo all day. And now we are back. Um, I'm gonna show you the carnage that we did today. Nicole also got some cool cased, um, it's like a magnet. So her phone is now on this magnet. And so this case has magnets on it. And there's like invisible ones too on, along the sides and stuff. Yeah, so it's not just the ones you see. And then there's like a suction cup with another magnet there, and then it'll stick to that. So it's kind of like the one that I have now. Yeah, so I just got one of these similar, but uh, mine has, it's just like football, like, hey Nicole. It's kind of <laughs> like, a, like a football grip on the back, so mine sticks too. I hope it sticks to this. So yeah, mine will stay too, but, but mine... It like slowly stuck to... Yeah, I need a flat surface. Hers, you can like kind of suction cup anywhere, so that's pretty cool. And that was a cool company called Selfie Z. So they were cool guys to talk to too. But here's all the samples and stuff that we got on our first day. We got some stuff. We spent $105 because we got um, three shirts from Dobar Donuts. I got a t-shirt, Nicole got a tank, and another one of these. We also got Tough and Tiny shirt. Nicole got a... Deadpool deadlifting and he's eating something too. And then of course we got the donuts from Dough Bar. We got a sampler. We got the this is the sampler. We got Reese's peanut butter. That's mine. Haha. <laughs> and then this is the apple pie. What these are is like a protein dough. And then you get the icing and stuff and you put it on there. So maybe we'll make actually we're probably about to make these, so I'll show you that. Also, we got some quest bars. We got these kind of vegan sausages that actually were not that great. <laughs> I did not like it. But what did you think about those sausages? Um, I thought they were like okay, honestly, until I saw like the macros and it's like oh yeah, they weren't that grams great. That's nine grams of protein. And I was like, okay, not worth. Yeah, they said like oh, it's got as much as much protein as in like egg whites and like yeah, if you have one egg white, I guess that's cool. But it's not that great of macros, and I personally didn't like the taste. But I guess I that the taste was fine. Honestly. It depends on you, I guess. But also, we stopped by PES, and this was all in one sampler bag, which they were given to everyone, I think. So you get, these are all two scoop servings. So there's two scoops of high volume in like one of these. You get prolific, you got their whole set right here. And that was just one bag, because uh, we also have a second bag. So me and Nicole each got a bag. And then the sales guy was really cool. His name was Brian, so we talked to him for a little bit, and he asked me, um, he gave me one of these to try because I haven't tried the vanilla yet, so we said just to try one of these. So thank you and shout out to Bryant from PES. That's I think pretty much gonna do it. It's about eight o'clock, me and Nicole are pretty toast. Gonna eat something, probably some donuts actually. Uh, maybe we'll go get some food. And that looks like to be the day. We're pretty tired and we're just gonna get up early and go train before the expo as opposed to training now because we're pretty beat. I'd rather get up early, put in as much energy as I have into training and then walk around the expo and maybe be a little fatigued at the expo instead of being fatigued during my workout. See you in the next clip. We're gonna get into the dough bar donuts because I'm really hungry. I got the Reese's peanut butter. The apple pie was pretty much Nicole's idea. I'm more for the Reese's one. So let's see what, this is my first time trying their donuts, but I've been a big fan of them on Instagram for a while. It's pretty much macro friendly donuts. So this is what comes in here, is you have four of these pretty much dough donuts and you have a little munchkin too. So, and then you get, I guess some little kits of icing and stuff, and I probably need a knife or something, but maybe I'll just wing it. You can dip it in. It's like glaze, yeah. they and they have little mini chocolate chips. They say you should... Microwave it. Yeah, it says to, there's a little instruction sheet too. So it says store it, immediately refrigerate, um, you want to warm it then decorate it and then capture it, but I think that, am I gonna warm, no, I just wanna eat it now. So I'm gonna try one without warming it, <laughs> but we tried the samples and they were really good, but let's just go with it. I'm gonna just, no, let me do everything. Let's see. The icing's kinda like really, it's not like very liquidy. 
Oh, wow. It's okay. very, like, icing-y, so I actually really would benefit from some kind of uh, knife, but no, we, we don't do that. Let me see if I can set this on the table. Can you? So you can watch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 10 out of 10 style points. I got the majority of the icing out, though. All right. So I do not recommend... <laughs> I do not recommend that you make it like me, but um... Yeah, you might have the, wanted to heat up the it. icing too, just to make it a little easier. Nicole's smarter than I am, but now we're going to use this utensil to um, smooth that out. I feel like I'm uh, doing a cooking show. Um, and then you smooth it out like that. Oh Don't worry, Donuts is not going to like me anymore after like doing this to their donut. I think they're going to feel disrespected. Peanut buttery icing, ooh. That's good. And I got a little chocolate chips. And then... <laughs> those, those guys are good. good. Alright. And then you throw down some mini chocolate chips. Boom. <laughs> I'm a, Nicole's this gonna make one of... Gorgeous. This is This is gourmet, bros. That. This is Actually, some... this looks like a cinnamon um, swirl. That looks pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna just hold it here for a little screenshot. Cause I'm probably gonna post this. Wait, good. Down here. Down oh, here. yeah, yeah, that. Your arms look bigger. Alright, cool. So we'll post that, but like, let me try it. Let's see if it's any good. Look at the camera while you bite, bro. Yeah, my bad. I was just gonna... Shit, that's good. So, mm -hmm. do you think you need to heat it up? Mm -hmm. You don't need to, cause it's gonna be a little more firm. But if you want it a little more moist. soft and yeah, moist, then you're probably gonna want to heat it up for like 15 20 seconds. But like, dude, it's, it's really good even without. And this is like 200 calories, I think like 15 grams of protein or so. 14 grams of protein. Oh, it says it on the top 11 grams of protein and like 30 grams of carbs. So it's like 215 calories, like five grams of fat. And there's like chocolate chips and stuff. So this is actually pretty awesome. And we'll try the rest of these throughout the weekend. Here's my little munchkin. But like they taste great. Yeah, they're awesome. So that's my little review on these. I'm gonna try the rest. That's gonna do it for day one. So next clip you're gonna see is the start update two. Good night.